Now I'm exhausted. It was a lot. Pretty miserable. I'm trying. Sometimes the only way out is through. Hey, it's your girl Asante helping you move consciously and creatively through life. So let's go. This is a year that I really want to accelerate and go hard. I want to capture this experience of being this creative um, solo entrepreneur and that journey of building things out over the course of this year. This is the first week of the year. It's currently Thursday, January 6th. I have been grinding to push out a lot of Notion content. So I had the video that I did about planning that just went up this Monday, um, yearly planning. And along with that, I launched a suite of templates. So I was really busting on those, um, but they're out and people seem to like them. People are getting them. Um, so that's really exciting. I love Notion. It's super organic to like how I think and just what I naturally like. So I love getting to build on that. Just had a call with a client and it's like an ongoing call. And now for the rest of the day, I want to film what's going to be my third video of the year. Uh, and then over the weekend, I want to film what's going to be my second video of the year. The big project is getting ahead on videos. So I'm not working week to week. And that's what's really going to allow me to stay consistent because my weeks are not consistent. My workload is not consistent because I do take on clients here and there. And so I just need to have the flexibility to be able to like focus on client work when that demands it. And so having my backlog um, of some videos that are already prepared and already in the works so I have multiple things churning will allow me to more, you know, even out my schedule. I will also say I have been loving this office setup. Uh, I've had it for about two months now. Uh, I gave a little office tour on Patreon if you're interested in that. But uh, this workspace, super facilitating my ability to work and do like all these different things on my business at once really been a game changer and i just i feel so much better <laughs> like working out of my bedroom which is what i've been doing uh forever not the move it's definitely you know something that i feel like you have a time period where you have to do but yeah i'm i'm choosing to invest in this right now it's a significant investment but i'm finding it's totally worth it all righty let's go about diet culture right now. Wild taking a break to eat some pizza at 8.30 p.m. I just ordered a full pizza this week to supplement my own meal prep because I've just been really hungry. <laughs> I'm definitely about honoring your hunger. It's not a bad thing to be hungry, but it's just unexpected. And I definitely believe in systematizing things and trying to observe and then put a system in place that's going to satisfy your needs. And I thought I had done that with my food. Um, I have my like daily green smoothies that I drink and I have a meal prep service that I was even using to like streamline things. And part of what I'm trying to do too is um, not do meal prep so that I can spend more time on this, on making videos. So I try to like have things prepared. I had figured out what, how much food I needed to eat every day to be satisfied and have all of the nutritional aspects that I wanted, enough protein, etc. But now I'm finding that I finish my food allotment and I'm still hungry a lot of the time. Um, and I think it might be because I'm gaining muscle from working out more and more consistently and upping the intensity of stuff that I do. And I'm like, ah, how dare my body's needs change? So I don't know, pizza for this week because this pizza is really delicious. It's a uh, chicken paneer pizza, amazing. Also air fryer over microwave for the reheat any day. Cheers. I've not been feeling great. I've felt like headaches and just like general body weakness as well as a little sore throat occasionally. I would take an at-home COVID test if I had one, but I do not. So 
I just have a mysterious illness. <laughs> I, you know, take a Tylenol, you know, and the headache goes away and I feel okay again and I feel energized enough to do things and then around six hours will pass and then I'm like, okay, this is just the Tylenol wearing off at this point. I'm not actually like getting fully better. But I filmed yesterday, last night, into the wee hours of morning, my video about have using three phones. <laughs> I was like, what have I even been doing? <laughs> using three phones. I'm just trying to get ahead. I have never worked so hard on my videos before in my life. I have never just like gone for it with this production intensity of just like back to back to back to back working on things every single day. It's mid January now. I think it's exactly January 15th. So hopefully by the end of the month it pays off and I'm actually several weeks ahead on YouTube videos. You know, honestly, at this point, even outside of algorithms and growth and business, it's just a personal challenge to me at this point. It's just a thing that I've wanted to do for years. And at this point, I'm just doing it for me. I'm just doing it for my own personal satisfaction and sort of crossing that off the list and knowing that I've done that 100%. And once I've done it, I will be more at peace and I'll be able to say that I've done it and what happens happens and, and I can be at peace with that. So right now I have my video for this week done. It's a Monday. My video for Thursday is done. Uh, my video for next Thursday is shot. So there's a lot. This is a lot. The time where I just have to push. It's not great to work when you don't feel great, but gotta do it. I'm like, this is not a, not a convenient time for me to be sick. <laughs> feeling better. It's February 6th. It's a Sunday. I was sick starting on January 15th <laughs> and I'm just now starting to feel symptom free. I tested negative for COVID once I could get a test, which was like far over a week uh, after I started feeling sick. So it went from overall body weakness and aches and feverish feeling as well to specifically a sore throat sore to the point of being painful to swallow like it hurt to eat and i love my lunch like i love this time that i take away from my screens away from any screen either i don't watch tv be with the food and listen to some podcasts and enjoy this break in the day and it was painful to eat <laughs> and i was like no <laughs> The small joys are gone. So pretty miserable time I've been having. So the, the throat thing lasted about another week. So I'm finally done with the throat. My throat feels normal. I have a little bit of a cough here and there, but otherwise I feel almost back to normal. I feel like normal levels of energy. I haven't been exercising because I, I tried exercising once while I was sick and I got completely wiped out. I've been sleeping like 10 hours trying to get over this sickness. So I want to recalibrate. It's a time of recalibration, continued grinding and trying to get everything into balance again. Like I mentioned in my January newsletter that I just sent out, uh, link to that is in the description. I've been in a time of intentional imbalance during January. That's very much so what January was. Just focused, just grinding out the videos, trying to get into that weekly cadence and get ahead so that I'm not just working week to week on videos on top of then being sick. So like needing to sleep more and therefore having less hours in the day and less energy while working. So I couldn't have as great of an output as I would have wanted, which led me to just be even more imbalanced because all of my energy needed to go into work, all of the little energy that I had. Today I have to write a video, basically write the entire video today. I've done a little bit of reading and research and prep, but today is when the, the ideas are gonna develop and form. I 
am feeling a lot better. Still a bit of a cough when I speak, but I feel like I'm approaching the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to like working so hard trying to get ahead on these videos. I've spent a lot of time on production for these first couple of videos that I've put out this year, and I had a bit of an aha moment um, yesterday uh, into this morning, really thinking about the level of production that I have been doing versus what would be best to do. And I'm gonna go into that in my behind the scenes post on Patreon for February. So I think going forward, I'll be able to have a better balance between work and personal maintenance, upkeep, all the things that I talk about and think are so important. But this week is crunch week, so I have several videos written, some partially filmed. I have one to finish shooting B-roll for today. I have another one that I need to shoot B-roll and me talking today. That's video number two. Video number three, I have to film tomorrow. It's a Notion video, so I have that planned, but I need to do a little tweaking in the Notion workspace so that I can have the data in there to show. And then I have video number four, the day after that to film, and that's one that I wanna film and then I wanna edit it the next day. And I actually wanna put it up on Thursday. So it's Sunday now. <laughs> That's why this week is crunch week, uh, but hopefully uh, I will check off all of those things and show up victorious at the end of this. morning, it's Friday. Uh, I guess actually good afternoon because it's uh, 3 p.m. I woke up at 2.30 p.m. <laughs> I was uh, up late last night finishing filming uh, the last video, remnants of which are still in my kitchen and dining room. So uh, my life feels about as messy as my space is right now. But I got the video filmed. Uh, so I filmed three this week, not four. A little less than I had anticipated, a little less than I wanted. And yeah, I would love to get my sleep schedule back in check. <laughs> uh, waking up in the afternoon, definitely not ideal. But I did what I had to do, especially, you know, for this one week. Filming three videos, high quality, beautifully shot videos uh, in one week is definitely not something I have done before. So, and then the fourth one is um, going to be ready to shoot over Sunday, so it doesn't put me too much uh, behind my schedule either. But yeah, now the task is basically just like resetting my life and feeling like a, a normal version of myself again, as opposed to just like working, driving all the time. But I'm proud of myself. I'm doing the thing, I'm doing the darn thing. So let's go. So it seems like every week I am telling myself that this is gonna be the last week that I film so late at night. Uh, and yet here I am again uh, at midnight <laughs> filming my next video. Oh. Yeah, 12.33 a.m. So finally filming the last video that I'd wanted to film last week, but I was honestly just too burnt out. I burnt myself out. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. And I've also been just like second guessing my production strategy because I was so stressed making these videos. And since it's the beginning of the year, I actually had wanted to try to get ahead on videos and make some content that would be easier to make because it's based on my life and things that I've already kind of figured out for myself and I can share with my audience. But, um, yeah, it's not turning out to uh, be easy at all. So finally, filming the last video. It's a Notion walkthrough, it's at my desk. Here we go. Good morning! It is the morning and I am awake. This is a dramatic improvement. It's the first day of March and yesterday I had my first good day that I've had 
in quite a while. I felt really good, I was really productive, I wasn't too stressed out. It was the first day, maybe all year, that I did my full uh, fitness and wellness routine. I like to go for a jog and then do some strength exercises, stretch it out, meditate, uh, and do that as sort of a circuit every day. Between being so busy with work and then being sick and not even feeling up to doing any exercise, I've been out of it. So the past week I did go for daily jogs and then yesterday I did the full routine. I also got most things done off of my to-do list and the things that I didn't get, I could feel fine about moving to today. So I'm just like letting go of some of that pressure um, to make these sort of idealized <laughs> videos and like, you know, put put the amount of effort into my content that's like appropriate and reasonable for me to do without feeling burnt out and overwhelmed and stressed out all the time about it. Hopefully now I have my like workload more under control and I have my system set up, I have my production set up, which is really nice. I did a little behind the scenes on Patreon about that. So I'm handling things, I'm handling things. Sometimes the only way out is through, you know what I'm saying? Just gotta persevere, just gotta like get through it. I am about to film my next video. It is not 11 p.m. <laughs> it's very weird to not be filming like in the middle of the night, which is what I've usually been doing. I'm trying to do this in a more sustainable way. And uh, so I'm about to film now. It's only like 4 p.m., which is awesome. It's good to work. Cheers. So, um, I'm trying. I like showing up weekly. Like, that cadence feels good as far as audience interaction and really being present. So I have the presence that I want. And I'm really happy and really proud with the videos that I've made. But, um, this weekly YouTube schedule has been kicking my behind. <laughs> if you know me on this channel, I'm definitely about wellness and self-care and pushing myself so hard just doesn't facilitate those things. So I'm glad they did it because I've been like, look, if I'm willing to push myself for employers, then I'll be doggone if I don't give myself that same level of attention and energy. But now I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've done it and I'm tired. I've gotten ahead now, you know, like that was part of the point of me pushing myself. So I have enough videos to do weekly um, through March at least, if not through a little bit of April. So we'll see. I definitely wanna stay present though. Like that's the thing that I've really, really liked is just more interaction with you. The main drawback of doing a cadence that's like once a month, like I was doing last year, I had great work-life balance last year. I had an amazing social life. I was having a great time. <laughs> Might be the happiest year that I've ever had last year, but I just wasn't as present. And it also put more pressure on each video because that was my video for the month, right? So this one has to be great. And it, it does put a little bit of pressure on it. And I'm someone who puts a lot of pressure on myself anyway. <laughs> but you know, I'm an artist. Like I want things to be crafted. I want things to be beautiful, right? And that takes time. And I'm just someone who, you know, I enjoy working to my highest potential, like working to the best of my ability. I have a hard time doing anything halfway. And so that's just who I am. Like I want to push myself. But you know, either way, I'm, I'm going to stay present and, uh, Watch this space. Shout out to my Patreon supporters who are helping me to make this more sustainable and just really make this all worth it. Like they are so motivating to my Patreon supporters. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thank you for being with me through this journey. You all have seen the behind the scenes of, you know, me trying to figure out and it's like your girl is working at this. So I appreciate your support. As always, remember to live spiritedly and think creatively and I will see you next time.